Let's blow it. Perfection, Grimsby, out on the open sea, surrounded by nothing but water and imagination. Ah, yes, it's simply delightful. The salt in your skin and the wind in your hair and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from shore, and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heave home. Benevolent Merfolk, welcome. It's wonderful to see you all here. Ever since the sea witch robbed us of your dear queen, celebrations like these have lifted my spirits. Thank you. Presenting the royal court composer, Horatio Thelonious. You're going to love this number. I wrote it for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice. Pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a magnificent sound since the queen. May she rest in peace. Oh, you're going to be so proud. If only that girl would show up for rehearsals once in a while. <laughs> Well, what are we waiting for? <coughs> Let the festivities begin. <laughs> Poseidon is that girl! Look, Flounder, the sun, the sand, isn't it the most beautiful place you've ever seen? I don't know, Ariel. 
I don't think we ought to be up here. Oh, don't be such a guppy. A guppy? I'm as brave as you are. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, yeah? Hmm, what about sharks? Where? Oh, Flounder, you really are a guppy. I am not. Uh, oh, you'll never guess what I found today. Look, have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool. What is it? I don't know, but I bet Scuttle will. Come on, I'll race you. Hey, wait for me. Scuttle! Mermaid off the port bow. Ariel, how you doing, kid? Scuttle, what look swim. what we found. More human stuff, eh? Let me see. Can you tell us what it's for? This, this is special, very unusual. What? What is it? It's a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper? Yeah, these babies are fantabulous. Absolutely indispensary. When it comes to dingle hoppers, I'm a regular encyclopedia. <laughs> Say that you want to have a hair, you like the folks who live up there that'll flap their wigs. Flap their wigs. <laughs> well, look absolutely dandy one of these handy little thingamajigs. Thingamabobs! Yes! Bobs! Pick up the dingle hopper just like so. Put the whale twirling now. Give it a little yank, and there you go. You know what they call the dogs? Meow. Just by chance, suddenly my body does. Tell me what you use to make folks dance. Give it up, low and then blah blah. Kid, I ain't just blown smoke. It makes music from the likes of which you've never seen. Music? Oh no, the concert! My father's gonna kill the me! The concert is today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Scuttle! Anytime, sweet. Anytime. Sorcerers of the sea, oh beauty of the brine, hail to the sea witch, hail to Ursula. Flotsam, my pet, Jetsam, my darling, come to me, my little sea spies. <sighs> Mama's feeling woe begone, banished to the nether regions of the sea. No food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Poor Ursula. Yes, poor me. What news do you have? King Triton and the merfolk are celebrating your defeat. And he blames you for the queen's demise. Of course he does. Use a little black magic to help out a few merfolk. And this is the thanks I get. Well, now it's time to turn the tides on Triton. 
We just need to find his Achilles heel, a weakness that will crack his armor. The king is terribly devoted to his daughters, especially the youngest with the beautiful voice. But she missed the celebration. Hmm, apparently. Ariel takes her gift for granted, just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until it's been silenced. Silenced! You two find out what that girl really wants, then lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a little spell to make her dreams come true. <laughs> and once we have her trapped, Triton will come rushing to her rescue. And then, my dears, yes, the trident, crown, and throne will all be mine. <laughs> Daddy, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I just forgot. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was... Was ruined! Completely destroyed! This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career! Sebastian... But I didn't mean to! Ariel, listen. You have been given a gift. Your mother's voice. It's a wondrous <laughs> talent. One that demands stewardship and care. So please, dear child, for the sake of her memory... I know, Daddy. I know. It wasn't even Ariel's fault. I knew you were going to come back straight away. But then the seagull started going on there about human stuff Seagull? And Human stuff. You went up to the surface. Um, nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Naps, harpoons, you're my youngest. And I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you obey my rules. If you just listen to me for once. That's the last time you're ever swimming up to the surface. Understood? Ugh, you're so unfair. She's as stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers! Give them an inch. And they'll swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. <sighs> Might have been too harsh. Nonsense! If you ask me, you haven't been tough enough. I haven't. Ariel needs constant supervision. Someone to watch over her. To keep her out of trouble. That's not a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you are just the crowd to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. But sire, she's a clever mermaid. I am just a mere crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary ladder. If only I could make my father understand. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? I've got gadgets and gizmos plenty. I've got who's it and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal.
see Wish I could be Part of that world Sick of, sick of swimming out of the sea <laughs> <laughs> this? Sebastian! Um, just a few knickknacks I've collected. That's all. Why you ought to be ashamed of yourselves? If your poor father knew about this here... You're not gonna tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian. He'd never understand. Ariel, down here is your home. The human world is a mess. Life under sea is them and anything they got up there. that goes fiends to the floor. Joke. Their dresses get caught in the rain, and most of them can't even swim. You know, there's more to a woman than her flutter kick. 
our kingdom means a queen. Well, where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl is carefree and alive to see itself. Where? Wow. It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl is a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. Shh. I thought you were an expert. Other stuff, sure, but <laughs> he is hated. I don't know, Scuttle. I think he's really handsome. Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl in my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Just look at him. He's so beautiful. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see? Discovered. Oh, Prince Air! Get away, you filthy bird! <laughs> Prince Eric, are you all right? A girl rescued me. She pulled me out of the surf. She was singing. You took a terrible tumble, dear boy. Voice. Can't get out of my head. Come with me, a night of sleep, and you'll be good as new. I must find her. Thank her for saving my life. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Of course she was, Prince Eric. As real as a mermaid on the rocks. Prince Eric. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something starts.
explains it. Just a minute there, Thunder. Who? Me? You know Ariel as well as anybody. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I knew you was love to the second chorus. Sebastian, any ideas? Um, uh. Come on, fish got your tongue. Spit it out. I, I, I tried to stop her, sire, but she doesn't listen. I tell her, oh yeah, you gotta stay away from those humans. They're nothing but trouble. Humans? What about humans? Who said anything about humans? Sebastian, are you keeping secrets from me? Where is that girl? <laughs> see. What did Scuttle call this one? Uh, Diddy Wimper, Thumb Diddle, oh, whatever it is. Prince Eric held it in his own strong, beautiful human hands. Ariel! <gasps> what is all this? Daddy, they're my... Human junk! No, treasures! Did you save a human from drowning? He would have died! That savage who could have killed you! But he didn't frighten me. He made me feel Wonderful. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. No? Well, you certainly are acting like one. He's a human. You're a mermaid. It doesn't matter. You don't understand. I wish mother were here. Ariel, I miss your mother as much as you do, but I am still the king, and you are not to go to the surface ever again. Am I clear? I'm just trying to protect her, Sebastian. She'll be all right, Sarah. Just, just give her some time. I hate him. Ariel, don't say that. And some wanna... friend you turned out to be spilling everything. Jeez, it doesn't matter. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Go away. I said, go away. I don't belong here. If only I could be up there. Poor, sweet, misunderstood child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Perhaps the sea witch can. Who are, how did you? She's been dying to help you. Ursula? Help me? Yes, but she can't leave her lair. Then take me to her. Of course. Ariel, hello. Where'd you go? Oh, man. 
mistress of the dream, you've a visitor. Um, yeah, on second thought, I don't know now, if... Now, now. Mustn't get coffins. Don't be shy, Ariel, darling. I, I shouldn't be here. Mother died because of you. Oh, child. What happened to your dear mother was a terrible, unfortunate accident. Poor soul. An accident? Of course. I did my very best to save her. You did? But father told me. <laughs> the truth is that the ocean wasn't big enough for both your father and me. So he sent me here. And now I see he's driven you away, too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're so very alike, you and I. Gals with ambition. Now tell me absolutely everything. I'm in love with someone. <laughs> a human. A prince, I hear. Quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, it's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True? Yes. Yeah. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed pathetic. once or twice someone couldn't pay the price and i'm afraid i had to rake them across the coals yes i've had the odd complaint but on the whole i've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls i have a spell that will turn you into a human for three days before the sun sets on the third day you gotta get dear old princey to kiss you if you do you'll stay human forever and if i don't you will turn back into a mermaid, and your soul will be mine forever. <gasps> Life's full of tough choices, Annette. Of course, there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have any. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. But if I give away my voice, how can I ever... <laughs> You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of body language. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead. Achieve your goal, fought some jets, and now I've got her voice. The boss is on a roll. You poor unfortunate soul. So, how's about a cupcake? If I become human, will I ever see my family again? My sisters, daddy. Now do you want Princey Pooh or not? Five, four, three, two. Yes. Yes, I'll do it. Not a girl, now. Beluga, Sevruga, come winds of the Caspian Sea. The rings is the side is at max laryngitis. Sing, sing your voice over to me. Uh, sing and keep singing.
no, child, what have you done? Well, look who got beached. Uh, Hi, Ariel, how you doing? Wait, there's something different about you. It's your hairdo, right? You've been using the dingle hopper. No? Hmm, can't quite put my foot on her. She's got legs, you idiot! <laughs> she trained her voice to see which to become human. Nah, kid, not your beautiful pipes. See, not the sound. Why, watch what her father say. I'll tell you what he'd say. He'd say he's gonna go kill himself for God. That's what he'd say. Now she's got three days to make the prince fall in love with her and to prove it, he's got to kiss her. The prince? Well, I'll say. Hey, what have we got here? Shoo, shoo. Ah. Miss, are you all right? You seem very familiar. Of course, it's you. I've been looking everywhere for you. What's your name? A sore throat, huh? Oh, you can't speak at all? I'm sorry. For a moment I mistook you as somebody else. What is it, you're hurt? No, no, you need help. I got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on now, that wasn't far. Way to go, Ariel! That's what I call real little me! Can you believe that guy? What a crab! Attention! Attention! Le menu por ses esior, escargo, lobster bisque, tuna tarte, holy mackerel, mantelelont! Ah, the things I do for that girl! Over the bridge, under the gutter, into the window! Now find me! Uh oh. Le poisson, le poisson. How I love le poisson. Love to chop and to serve little fish. First I cut off their heads and I pull out their bones. I may win. So it's toujours delish. Le poisson, le poisson. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. With a cleaver, I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it up right Cause I love little fishes, don't you? Here's something for tempting the palate Prepared in the classic technique First you pound the fish flat with a mallet Then you slash through the skin, gives the belly a slice Then you rub the socket Cause that makes it taste I guess we'll never know the truth. What, you can't even speak, poor dear? Uh, well, never mind. After your scrub in the tub, you're as fresh as a daisy in a beautiful new frock. Well, now I'm the one who's speechless. <laughs> it's 
been a while since we've dined in the company of such loveliness. Yeah, usually it's just me and Grim. He has to look across the table at my ugly mug. The bath certainly worked its wonders. Your mysterious guest is groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, easy. She has no voice. Oh, dear. My, isn't that unusual? Oh, thank you. Oh, don't tell me she's fond of pipes. Can't say I blame you. That's an antique from Dussel... <laughs> Sorry, old friend, but it seems like your pipe smoked you. Yes, yes, very amusing. Well, she certainly knows how to make you smile. Come along, Grimsby. Let's leave the young ones alone for a little bit. You should see the princesses that Grimsby takes to dinner. So prim, so boring, but you. So, if you don't mind my asking, what was it? An accident when you were small? Oh, uh, forgive me. Um, who needs words anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. Well, you're nimble on your feet, aren't you? Dancing beats small talk any day. It's the way you like smile or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like so. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. Much a single gesture can reveal, and every little step, every single step, is one step closer to saying what you feel. Forgive me, there's been this voice. <clears throat> it's been haunting me. Anyway, I should let you get some sleep. Uh, good night. Why the things I do for you, young lady? Out of the frying pan, into the fire. Why I should march you right back home to your father. So, so you can be miserable for the rest of your life? Child, I got no backbone. But if we're gonna get that prince to kiss you, a few pointers from a clever crab to a little mermaid. You gotta bat your eyelashes like this. And you gotta pucker your lips like this. Oh, that's good. You put those two things together tomorrow and you got that boy in the palm of your hand. No girl has ever dared to join me out here before. Too afraid to move your shoes, but not you. Peaceful, isn't it? Not another soul for miles and miles, if only. Hey there, what's happening? Nothing is happening. Shush! They spent that in the morning on horseback. Had an afternoon picnic. And not so much as a peck on the cheek. Oh no, this game, there's only one day left. So, how about this weather? Oh, we gotta do something. And quick. 
But what? It's gonna be our last shoot. We got to create a kind of mood. You mean like? Can I light on champagne? Nonsense! We don't need all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Percussion. Strings. Winds. What? Anyway, got arrested for my birthday tomorrow. Old Grimsley's planning a ball to help me find a girl with that voice. He must be married by sunset, or else. Oh, Ariel, dearest, I can't believe you've been with us for a whole three days. It's been such a treat. Now, the time has come for princesses to come and sing for Prince Eric so he can finally choose his bride. You just stand back here with Carlotta while the royalty mingles. It's sure to be quite a show. Welcome, dear friends, to our contest, the first that our kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display so our prince may at last choose a queen. voice in the land. Tonight, one of you fine ladies will join Prince Eric on the throne. May the best woman win. Listen to me. Don't I say rich love in my life? What's that government take? Why'd you think I'm the bro? The girl who has everything. Everything. Surely one of these I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. The sun has nearly set and your birthday will be over. You must choose a mate. Ariel? Oh, for heaven's sake, child. Quiet, quiet, Grimsy. Go ahead, Ariel. I had hoped, 
dear Eric, that you might find love somewhere in this room. I have, Grimsby. I've been just too blind to see it. Until now. Come here, Ariel. <laughs> you for three days and I'm worried. I thought you might be here. Ariel, I've, I've come to apologize. Most merciful to write him. Sebastian, where have you been? And where is Ariel? Oh, she'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I leave my youngest daughter with you for three days and what happens? She disappears. I ought to have you cracked and shelled. He almost was, sir. <laughs> What kind of tragedy will it take? Uh, what is involving the sea witch? What? Don't be a guppy, don't be a guppy. You see, Your Majesty, these two slippery eels came and took Ariel to Ursula, and she traded her voice to become human. She bartered away her voice to become a human? And now that the child has given up reversal, oh, oh Ariel, to... what have you done? Come, we must save my daughter. To your prince. You're mine now, mermaid. Get ready to spend the rest of your days as my slave. Ursula! King Triton! Swagalicious. <laughs> what have you done to my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak? Give her back to me. Not on your life. It so happens that your daughter made a bargain. No. Swapped her voice to land a man up where it's dry. Is it binding goodness? Yes. Unbreakable, unless. Unless? There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we could arrange a sort of trade off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Make this deal and set her free, or else she comes with me to suffer through eternity alone. It's not my soul you're after, it's, it's my powers. Now which would you rather be, the king of the sea or father to his little girl? The trident is a great responsibility or so. Nonsense, trite one, hand it over. Ocean belongs to me! And now you poor unfortunate soul, time's up, you're through. Now the power of Poseidon has been once again made whole, all the magic of the trident and the shell in my control, and now dark shall wait forever over ocean, sea, and shore.
you all. so much trouble. Can you ever forgive me? Why, I've never been prouder. Somehow, in the blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. You really love him, don't you? Just remember, when you hear the surf roar at night, or the tingle of salt in the air, it's just your father checking in on his little girl. Ariel! Who are you? I am King Triton, her father. And you are the human that came to her rescue. Um, with all due respect, uh, sir, Ariel is the one who done the rescuing. The king of the sea, and she's his daughter? Does that upset you? Heavens no! I'm just relieved she's royalty! Your Majesty, at last I have found someone who makes me eager to seize my future and claim my birthright as king. And if I ever slip out to sea sometimes, oh, she'll be right there beside me. May I have her hands? Ariel can speak for herself now. She can? Just you and 
slime? Okay. Um, here. Eric, come on. Uh, and we need okay. Okay. Is this all of them? Okay, for everybody? Yeah, take them. Okay. So, um, we have some flowers for our amazing directors from the cast and from the volunteers. And so, if we could have uh, Stevie, Ali, Janae, and Tennille come out for a second. And Chandler. <laughs> and Chandler. And Chandler, too, come out. Um, here. So, wait, okay. Hold on. Um, yes, of course. So, um, here's TV and Janae. And here's uh, Chandler and Allie. We appreciate, everybody appreciates you guys so much. Without... Um, without them, this production uh, wouldn't be possible. <laughs> and so thank you guys for everything that you have done for us, and we truly appreciate you. Can we have a huge standing ovation, round of applause for the directors? Tanil, Tanay, Stevie, Chandler, and Allie. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we can have the dance party. Play the music. <laughs>